Theory of planned behavior helps us understand how people make decisions. This theory explains why people behave in certain ways. What is the theory of planned behavior? The theory of planned behavior was developed by Isaac Ozen. It builds on an earlier theory called the theory of reasoned action. The main idea is that a person's behavior is influenced by three things, their attitude, subjective norms, and perceived behavioral control. Attitude. Attitude is how a person feels about a behavior. It can be positive or negative. For example, if someone thinks exercising is good for their health, they have a positive attitude towards it. This positive attitude makes them more likely to exercise. Subjective norms. Subjective norms are the social pressures a person feels. These are the expectations of people around them. For example, if a person's friends and family think exercising is important, the person is more likely to exercise. They wanna fit in and meet these expectations. Perceived behavioral control. Perceived behavioral control is how much control a person feels they have over a behavior. If they think it's easy to do, they are more likely to do it. For instance, if someone believes they have enough time and resources to exercise, they will probably do it. If they think it's too hard or they don't have control, they might not try. How these factors work together. These three factors work together to shape a person's intentions. Intentions are the plans or decisions to perform a behavior. If a person has a positive attitude, feels social pressure, and believes they have control, they are likely to have a strong intention to do the behavior. Strong intentions usually lead to actual behavior. Examples of the theory in action. Healthy eating. Imagine someone wants to eat healthier. Attitude. They believe eating fruits and vegetables is good for their health. Subjective norms. Their family and friends also eat healthy and encourage them to do the same. Perceived behavioral control. They think it's easy to buy and prepare healthy food. If all these factors are positive, the person will likely intend to eat healthier and actually do it. Studying for exams. Consider a student preparing for exams. Attitude. They believe studying hard will help them get good grades. Subjective norms. Their teachers and parents expect them to study. Perceived behavioral control. They feel they have enough time and resources to study effectively. With positive attitudes, strong social support, and high control, the student is likely to plan to study and follow through. Why is the theory of planned behavior important? The theory of planned behavior helps us understand why people do what they do. It's used in many fields like health, education, and marketing. By understanding these factors, we can create better programs to encourage positive behaviors. For example, health campaigns can focus on changing attitudes, creating supportive social environments, and increasing people's control over their actions.